You know, the Bible tells us, and Hebrews, the fourth chapter, and I won't read all, but basically it tells us that, that you know, uh, Jesus, he has he's faced every temptation that we have faced. He has gone through every situation we'd ever gone through. And the difference is between him and us is he has won every one of those. But here is the great thing, even though, uh, it, even though he has had all these temp temptations, and uh, he says, it says in verse uh, 15 of Hebrews 4, it says that he can sympathize with our weaknesses. Man, I don't know about you, but that gives me a lot of hope. See, sometimes you kind of get this idea that because God's holy, because God is perfect, because God is righteous, you, you kind of get this idea that I'm kind of sickening to God. As a matter of fact, people will make you believe that the second coming of the Lord Jesus and the seven year tribulation that happens at the end at the end of this era of of, of history that that we now know uh, it is basically a time where God just gets so sick of the world he can't stand us and so he finally pours this wrath out on the world to to punish us and to perfect us and make us deal with our sin. None of that is what the Bible actually teaches.